Hey guys, uh, this is EBS512 again. Um, in this tutorial, I just really want to go over uh, how to use APK uh, Manager or APK Multi Tool and APK Tool. Uh, APK Multi Tool and APK Manager are fairly the same thing. Um, I really don't see a dip much of a difference. Um, except maybe a couple different things but basically you're going to want to have java installed java sdk uh, and that's what i included in this theming package for you all right you might have already had it installed anyway but and you open the script and hit enter okay see this right here your heap size um i think that's set by to default but um I, I don't know if that's an error, or if they did that intentionally, but every time that I have to go in here and decompile and recompile, I, I always need to change my heap size. So to do that, you want to do option 23, and I always do just 512, and that changes that right there. And then, um, really, what you're going to want to do is select a package, like an APK to decompile and uh, that's option 25 and you can pretty much choose any one of these that you want for instance I'll just do like a tap atop so that's option 63 and to decompile it is option 9 to decompile okay that's done so basically if you already had it um and see this was a mistake that I made when I first got done with my prismatic jelly theme um basically I had made a complete mistake. I was I was completely tired. I really wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Uh, but really, I was trying to compile, and I accidentally decompiled, and it overrided all the work that I just did. Um, so then I had to completely redo everything. But uh, this is how a decompiled file looks. A decompiled APK, and. Um, to compile, uh, generally you can use um, either 11 or 14 if if you're just gonna install it on your phone right away. I do option 14. Uh, that compiles it, signs it, and tries to install it. It'll try and throw an error, but just ignore that. Um, wait for this to get done see the error right there just ignore that and uh, basically where that signed APK is going to be stored is going to be in place oh that's what I forgot to tell you guys in the beginning um basically uh, right here in the place APK here for modding this is where the folder where you want to put your APK to decompile it and this is where it'll show up when you do option 25 uh, basically when you um, compile and sign it it's gonna come up with a sign name in front of it and right there is the one that we just compiled right there and signed it so it would be ready to install into your device um, what else is there uh, APK tool is a little bit different and it's it's mostly using the command prompt and takes a little more time, but sometimes if you don't like using APK Manager or APK Tool, 
uh, you can use this. Um, just cd to your abq tool directory. And basically, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the settings. So it'll decompile it, it won't overlap it an APK tool like it will APK manager or APK multi tool. So the command for this is APK tool D for decompile settings dot APK. And if you want, you can type like the folder that you want it to be. But you don't have to do that because it'll just show up like that. Um what happened? Uh, let's see here. Oh, I think you do need to type. What happened there? Oh, that's what it was. I just forgot the uncle S. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't had any sleep lately, and uh, I'm gonna have a long day today. So this is how it should come out right here. Um, just let that pop up. And it's decompiling right here. And there you go. Uh, basically to recompile in this, you would go uh, B for both. should be built and it should be in this distribution folder right here that's your that's your compiled your compiled APK um, but that is not signed you would have to sign it uh, with a private key I don't I don't have that because I just use APK multi tool um, for signing uh, that's actually a really good idea I just thought of. I'm gonna have to upload the uh, key signing for you guys um, to sign your packages if you do want to use ABK tool. Uh, next, the, the main reason I really prefer ABK multi tool is because, say, you, uh, you're getting errors thrown in ABK tool and you don't know why. And, uh, it could be just something as simple as an Android manifest issue. And wait. This is just for instance. Um, so let me open APK multi tool and uh, change the heap size again. Search for your APK, it'd be Tapatalk in this instance, 64. And uh, compile it. And uh, I'm just giving you guys an example to show you guys uh, how the errors look in this because it actually logs the errors to a log file, which is very, very helpful. Um, so, for instance, this was the last error that occurred from the uh, from when I tried compiling, and uh, basically it, it's telling you right here that in the Android mes manifest um, on line two there is an error uh, that it's not well formed, which basically means it's missing something, and that would be correct because I did delete that part of the uh, XML so uh, that's really um, a quick rundown on APK multi tool APK manager and APK tool uh, I hope this guys uh, really helps you guys um, 
if you guys need any help at all, don't don't be afraid to ask me for help. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Uh, thanks for watching this, guys. Uh, please subscribe.